We'll see if Double Jeopardy is on the board here. Gen Game's very own Stock Taker 69 going up against uh, Jag here with a shot for top eight Flambo. And the thing is too, like, now that I go back on it, it, it kind of makes sense, right? Like, if there's anywhere where I expect Jag to run into some close calls, it would be in Tri-State, man. We had so many Palutena's for so long that there isn't anyone here who shouldn't know this matchup yep. like the back of their hand. So, Garrett coming out here and being able to take him out on the winner's side, not too crazy, but can Stock Taker do it again? Can Lightning strike twice, or was it a one-off? Yeah, it's possible, man. Listen, if you're Stock Taker, you're trying to maybe not, you know, uh, fold too hard, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, trying to get in your own head about it. You know, uh, so we'll, we'll see how it all shakes down here. Right now in the early go, it's it's uh, looking a little shaky right now as it's been all Chag to start this first game. Yeah, I mean, Stock Taker really hasn't found too many hits. But one thing I will say that I remember, because I was watching that winner set intensely, is that I felt that Stock Taker's use of Blaster was perfect. Yeah. He was able to force Chag to approach him in so many scenarios to get pot shots in for 8%. That really spelled the flow of the battle. But you saw he went for, like I think, like his first blast through there and Chag immediately reflected it yep. and was able to get a KO off of it. So I think Chag is looking to play around the blaster a lot more in this game. And it's already, I mean like, Stock Taker hasn't really had much of a chance to get anything going. I'm hoping he can. He didn't overcommit. That used to be his big thing. I hope today doesn't happen again. Yeah, then we'll see how it shakes down here again. Chag just looks like he's maybe a little bit more tuned up right now as it is uh he's continued to extend his lead here. Stock Taker, like I said, hasn't been really found the avenues use that blaster just yet. There you go, that rapid job will connect right there. Man, he's having a tough time finding his opening because I feel like yeah. beautiful bird tag, not enough KO, but it, it's more or less done most of the damage he needs to for this game, honestly. It's just a matter of kind of closing it out with respect to tag. But Stock Taker needs to get a juicy conversion on this next stock. Gotta wait out the invincibility and can you find a grab or a falling area? There we go, that's a beautiful 8%, but now Chag's like, ah, oh, I can't forget. Got the reflector. Yep, okay, gonna go for the down throw. Not gonna give him any oh. sort of jump or bad DI. Instead, it's just gonna be a straight up back air. Okay, nice. That was filthy from Chag, bro. I haven't seen that set up in a long time. Yeah, uh, nope, nope. The, the very last hit in there, or the first hit in there, uh, leading up into the up tilt, is a combo and it kills, as you just saw, so. Oh, man. Yeah, you can't beat up this game. Chag with the perfect punish, dude. Wow, he almost got the Trump, too. Still, this punish game continuing. An ill-advised dash attack. And uh, Chag has more or less done everything. Like, 20 more percent, and you can start pushing for that KO. Uh. Back at the ledge, bad DI. Still enough to get by. All right, gets back to the ledge with the upbeat. But again, Chag wow. just <laughs> playing lights out right now, man. Stock Taker trying to find an avenue in right now to maybe, you know, get another stock off the board here. Might go for the drag down there. Up tilt again. Needs to watch out. Force straight back. Ever do it. Back throw at the ledge. It is what it is. All right, good back throw right there. Again, Jack set the tone very early in that first game. You know, came out of uh, guns a blazing and did not seize that lead at all. So, you know, again, looking very comfortable, uh, you know, in that, uh, that first game there. So let's see what the response will be here from Stock Taker. Again, these guys played a long set in that, uh, in that first set, so you know, we'll see how it all pans out here. And one of the things I'm really looking for is Stock Taker's use of dash attack. Um, honestly, he relied on it so much in the winner's set. He, yep. he used it a lot to get Chag off stage, a lot to secure KOs, and Chag hasn't been getting hit by them anymore. He's been shielding them, he's been shield grabbing them for it. He was doing a good job of crossing up Chag on shield with the dash attack in the winter set, but so far in that first game that we watched, he's been doing it a little bit shallow on shield every single time, so Chag's been able to get a punish. So Stock Trick's gonna need to be a bit more careful with that, but I think he did play the ledge well in the first set, and I don't think he did a bad job necessarily in the last game either. Oh boy. Retreating there, oh my four. <laughs> like, don't let him get by, bro. That's yep. a whole hand. <laughs> All right, let's hear Once again, good there right there. Again, this stage is a really good wolf stage because wolf's able to, you know, not only follow up on the platforms, but also be able to, be able to extend his uh, combos from side to side. But Paladin can also do a lot of the same. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's why this matchup is just so. Again, you hate the buzzword, but you gotta call it like it is volatile. Yeah, yeah. dude. It, it it's like it, it can be tough in both directions. It's just they are able to kind of go down the path of pain excruciatingly so on each other. So it's like, will he be able to return that favor to Chag? Chag, 
He's been getting those down tilt back airs. You know, he didn't get, I don't think, any of those in the first set. Like, yeah. Like, keep comparing back to the first set, because I'm looking to see, like, can the magic be recreated? And there's some adaptation I need from Jared, or Stock Taker, to really make sure that that can happen. I feel like Chag, on the other hand, he's playing better than he was. Yeah. To be honest, he would just, he's just playing better. Yep, yeah, listen, again, Valentina's confirms are a lot tighter now, so any sort of opportunity, you know, you have to get those uh, kill confirms in the, in the right percent window, you have to convert on them, and down tilt back air being one of them, so. Okay, nice gets the grab, put it down, throw, push to the corner. Let's see, is he gonna jump from ledge? No, he's actually gonna teleport, and he tries to read him teleporting into center stage with the dash attack, but Chag actually cuts in shallow and misses up stock taker, so that was well played. There you go, nice greed on the back, on the air, not that back air. Hey, we'll take it. Catch him with the wolf flash, though, so. He sets up Stock Taker here for a, an edge guard, but. Okay, gets to the board. And an early 100% where you can still do something yeah. here, so. Yeah, especially Wolf. You just wait. Nice, goes for the falling there, and that's the way to get the most amount of damage. Nope. <laughs> that trade's not bad, honestly. No, like, really, it's, yeah. it's not. A whole 8%, man, that's, that's a lot. It is a con, let me forget about it. Oh, especially with gas prices. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. We saw that confirm again to end the first game. Uh, gonna get it here. Uh, no, excuse me, to, to take a stock in the first game. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's tough too because for stock taker, like, oh my gosh, oh. Oh, this first game that, that was just a messed up right back here. There you gotta reverse forward air instead. Oh man, but. Ooh, okay. Good up air right there from Stock Taker again, trying to swing his way back into into you know some leveraging position here. Gonna get the down smash, can't find it. And like, it, it, it's tough because Stock Taker's been playing from behind for so long that like, you keep seeing for moments where he's like hoping he can like get an early KO to bring things back. Where he's going for these down smashes on two frames. It's difficult, but it can happen. And if he's able to get it, he's right back in the game. But Whoa. it just hasn't been happening. Yeah, there we go. Landing there is going to provide Chag with more wiggle room here. Oh, that's what we nice. If he meant to do that, that's base. Okay. Oh. Now this. This would be legendary. This this would be legendary. Stock Taker 69 was able to go ahead and get the reverse 3 on Chag right now. I might, I might damn well poop in my seat. Dude, I, I'm going to have to clean it up. <laughs> you know, like, that's how crazy it would be. That's how crazy it would be. I would be like, right, yo, get me a mob, Kelvin. That's what I would say. Because I, I don't know, like, I, I don't know if he can do it, you know, with the way that Chag is playing right now. I like he he has me whip, you know, like oh, I, I I believe that he's gonna take this three up. He's playing so consistent, so strong. He's getting setups that he wasn't doing in the first set with those falling nares into up tilts. That means he's overloading Stock Taker with new options that yep. he wasn't trying before yep. and forcing him to adapt to some of the old stuff that he changed up. So it's like, I don't know. I mean, look at the way this is started. He didn't get punches like that. In fact, he forced him over to Sephiroth. Yeah, Sephiroth is going to be the character uh, coming out here. And you know, well, I'm not, I feel like the jury still might be out on how this matchup might go. But because Sephiroth is such a, a big character and, you know, an easy target to hit, mm -hmm. I feel like he just gets comboed to death in the same, you know, vicious percent windows that other characters do against Valentina. And he's light, dude. He's very, very, very light. And you know that back air from Paul is going to be a pain. But I think at this point, Stock Taker, like, with the way he's been playing, he's been playing kind of afraid to be super close to Tag at any given moment. So I think he thought, all right, I'm going to pick a character with a large disjoint and maybe, like, this will be it. Because Sephiroth is legitimate. He does have one. But, like, clearly it's, it's not working. No. Yeah. Again, listen, uh, you know, Stock Taker plays a variety of different characters. So, you know, might as well just give him a different look, something he probably wasn't expecting. And it's a shame that that back air, like, wasn't enough to get the KO. Because, oh, like, my God. He got a great reaction off the flame, but now it's coming down to that point where it's like, Stock Taker can't take too much damage here. Like, I think, like, 50 is probably the limit, and if it's more than that, here you go, he hits 53. It's... It, it, the life expectancy of this stock is not enough, Yeah. You know? All right, trying to get the conversion there. Okay, he does so with the back air again. That move, you know, covers a lot of space, so, you know, that's definitely an area where, you know... Not the wing. Ooh, wait a second. Okay. Oh, he's snapping on him. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I know, right? Like, he's trying. He's using the disjoint to his advantage, but he's like, tags his shielding though, right? Like, he hasn't been able to get the timing right to mix him up and actually get the yeah. boats on a lot of these. So it's like, all right, like, you're threatening. That's a good forward tilt though, catching him on the dash in. Ooh, oh, okay. a little slow, a little slow. Right, let's see what the response is gonna be here. Once again, back on the ledge. Backer will connect again. Sephiroth, lighter character, bigger character. 
Not gonna have a lot of durability in a position like that. So Stock Taker on his tournament stock here. Oh man. Gets out of the jab, grab, gets Ocean. caught by the... <laughs> that was That's so loud. Crazy. My god. Yeah, I know. Okay. So get on my head, man. What the heck? Oh man. There you go. Backer's not gonna connect. He needs a cheesy one, dude. You need like a fully charged, like, neutral B or something. Like, I don't know. All right, back here will connect right there. Stock Taker refusing to say die. Oh, yeah. Right. And that's because last time he he did it short twice now, and Stock Taker keeps thinking he's going to teleport in. All right, the fair right there. Just create some space. Maybe trying to read the jump in. Jack trying so well. to find the, the killing blow here. Hey, okay, hold on. Not count Stock Taker out yes, yet. Yes, sir. Looking pretty rough for him. He can't actually recover from there. Man, that's a bummer. It's a bummer. I think he thought he was able to. I don't know if, like, like did he have the wing there before? I, got, I don't know if it Maybe. ran out right yeah, there, I'm and then sure like, he thought he was going to be able to, like, jump and then do it. I didn't get to catch that, but either way, that's going to be it for Stock Taker 69, being able to knock out Chag to then be knocked out by Chag. By Chag yeah. That's, that's how it goes. But sometimes. hey, man, a great story. Listen, for local, everybody loves Jared around here. That's fact. I can't think of anybody that has a bad thing to say about Jared. He's he's a, he's a great guy, one of my favorite people, and he put on a great performance this weekend. Yeah, so. first tournament for the PGR being back, and you yeah. take out Chag, and you take out Elegant. Like, you can't be mad at that. You're just going to go home base. and play Elden Ring anyway. And you're like, <laughs> yeah, bro, I'm like, I kind of nice with it, I guess. And then, like... You know, you go to your next tournament and you're seated extremely high, and like you're like, word, you know, like, I'll well, take I'm a it. jobber. So. Yeah. <laughs> now I have to, now I'm on the upset thread, but uh, that's actually gonna be it for us today. Yeah, I'm so. like, do we gotta we gotta do another ad read, Calvin, before we hop off? Yeah, I think we do. So you know what? Let's go ahead and show you guys what we're all about. We are chilling here at Collision 2022, and as such, make sure you guys go ahead and cop yourself some fine Collision merch. Yeah, listen, uh, you can check out the, everything at the smash.gg slash collision slash shop. We got some great merch here, including the year yeah. shirt. And I believe the shop closes tomorrow, if I'm correct. So make sure to buy some sweet merch. The snapbacks are sick. Everything, the merch here this weekend has been absolutely fantastic. So make sure you guys go ahead and do that. And again, uh, we got to give a shout out to the Collision team. Of course, you know, uh, I got to give a shout out to, uh, to RJ and company. I've known RJ for a long time. He was a one-man band for a long time. Yes, but now... He has himself a staff of really good people, so they've been uh, really doing a good job just getting everything cohesive and you know and, and you know uh, back up starting after you know we all got back from from COVID. So you know make sure to support them on all their socials. Follow them on them below. Collision series across uh, you know or Collision Smash on uh, Twitch, Twitter, and uh, Instagram as well as Collision series on uh, YouTube. And of course, you guys want to make 